Hello everyone and welcome back to another Fresh Eats video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make something that I've really been enjoying lately and that is a really simple and easy chia seed pudding. I was kind of scared of chia seeds at first because I didn't really know what they would taste like but they actually taste really good and they're also really good for you. They're really high in fiber and healthy fats. I've honestly been eating this pretty much every single day since I discovered it so I would highly recommend it to you guys. So for this recipe there's only four main ingredients. The first is obviously chia seeds. These are organic black chia seeds from Safeway but any type of chia seed would probably work. Work. You'll also need some plant-based milk. I'm using almond milk, but you can also use soy milk or rice milk or any other type of milk. You'll also need some 100% cocoa powder. This gives it a really nice chocolatey flavor. And lastly, you'll need some sort of sweetener. I'm using agave. So those are all the ingredients. So let's make some chia seed pudding. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get a bowl and add one tablespoon of chia seeds to it. Then add one teaspoon of cocoa powder. A quarter cup of almond milk and then add as much of the sweetener as you want. Then close it up and shake it until there are no more clumps at the bottom. And then let it sit in the refrigerator for about eight hours. So it's been about eight hours or so. And as you can see, it's looking pretty thick and gelatinous. So I'm just gonna top this off with some fresh strawberries and a tiny bit more almond milk. So I just mix it up and this is what it looks like. So now, as always, I'm gonna taste this on camera just to prove to you guys that it's actually good. So here's my first bite. Mm. Wow, this is really good. I think this is one of the best chia seed puddings that I've ever made. And I do want to add that if you don't really like the seed-like texture, you can actually grind the chia seeds in a spice grinder before you mix them with the almond milk. I tried that a few days ago and it was really smooth, but I want to show you guys how to do it in the most simple way possible. So that's my recipe for chia seed pudding. If you end up making this, let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.